Hey everybody, welcome to Shenyang, the capital of Liaoning province. We're gonna go do a little shopping today. That's right. We're gonna go to Walmart in China. And I'm gonna take you guys along for the trip. Gonna fight the crowd. So you try to get off and block in the exit. There's like four exits at this subway station. I don't know which one to take. So if things go as they usually go, I'm gonna take the one that's furthest away. <laughs> that's my usual luck. But we are at Taiwanjie Station. Oh, look, there you go. Elevator is under repair. Okay, we just came out of the subway station. I'm not familiar with this area at all. Got more of these rental bikes. And like I said, you can even get rental e-bikes now. That, for me, that's pretty new. I got the helmet here. If you need it, all you need is WeChat. You scan this little barcode and you can get a bike. Cover a lot of ground. All right, we're almost there. You can see the sign, Walmart. And you can see in Chinese, it's got three characters below the name. That's the Chinese name. It's called Warma. Warma in Chinese. You can see this girl over here has got one of these rental e-bikes. Her and I guess her boyfriend with these rental e-bikes. Walmart, here we come, baby. Uh, looks like the road here is not in the best condition. You're on these sausages. People here love this. This stuff is like, I mean, it's a local favorite, but it's just such like processed junk. I don't see how people eat it. Well, at least in the section where I am, it's not very crowded. I'll be honest, I think I got extremely lucky because this isn't a busy part of the city, but this place is relatively empty. Which, I mean, for a video, having a crowd here could be kind of fun, but for me doing some shopping and stuff, like, this is great <laughs> because usually places in China are so crowded, you rarely get a place. Especially right in the heart of town. What celebrity are we looking at here? Maybe some of you guys know him. I have no idea who this guy is. But again, I don't really watch TV and I especially don't watch like Chinese movies and stuff like that. Got some toys for the kiddos and they're probably all made in China. Let's just do a quick check. Are these made in China? We've got the Infinity Saga, Spider-Man. Okay, I couldn't see on Spider-Man. Let's check this storytelling police car oh yeah there you go made in China right there right, here's some brands you'll recognize we got Ritz over here you ever seen a Chinese Oreo well now you have Oreos are pretty popular here in China you can see you've got all these different flavors these are actually really, really good. These, uh, they're like soft cookies and they've got this kind of, it's not creamy like in the photo, but it's got this kind of like soft filling with a little bit of fruit. Really, really tasty. Coffee for all you coffee drinkers out there. I am one of you. So let's see what kind of coffee selection they've got. A lot of instant selections, instant coffee, instant coffee. Nescafe is pretty big. There have been places in China where this is like all I can find and I absolutely hate this stuff. I can't see it, but I'm sure they do have at least some of those like individual little packets where you put it over the, the coffee mug and you pour hot water and it's like kind of like a fresh cup of coffee. It's like it filters itself right there. It's like actual coffee grinds and uh, it's just an individual, individual cup. You guys know what I'm talking about. It's hard to describe. This is a line of orange juice here. Well, they've got other fruit juices as well, but if you're in a pinch and you want some halfway decent orange juice, look for this NFC. It's made by uh, Nongfu Spring Water. It's actually decent because, you know, like cheap, crappy orange juice can be terrible, but this is actually decent. You know, for me, I, I've got a, a juicer. I usually make my own orange juice at home, but I mean, this stuff, at least, you know, at least it's like actual orange juice and they've got different flavors too not from concentrate nfc but when i drink it i do kind of feel like maybe it is from concentrate but who knows 
Now just keep in mind when you're watching this where I am. I'm in the capital city of Liaoning province in a Walmart. So a lot of the stuff you find here, you will not find at other places. Like you're not gonna find Nutella at a lot of places in China. You can get it on the internet quite easily. That Ovaltine over here, Ovaltine crunchy spread. I've never even heard of that. Peanut butter. And if you need some mayonnaise, let me give you a tip. Get the red label Cupy because it's not sweet. If you get this blue one, it's like sweet crap. Uh, if that's on a sandwich, I can't eat it. So yeah, red label, guys. This is actually from Xinjiang. Hmm. And for your sports drinks, you can actually get Gatorade in China. But then they've got these like Chinese brands as well. Only a few places have Gatorade. But you, you'll find this everywhere. And these are okay in a pinch. Uh, sometimes it can be a challenge to find it refrigerated because a lot of Chinese are opposed to drinking cold drinks. And actually here we've got the Japanese Pokari Sweat. <laughs> in Japan I used to drink this stuff a lot when I would exercise or go cycling in the summer. Love me some Pokari Sweat. The worst name, but the best sports drink. And various flavors of Red Bull, passion fruit, mixed fruit, and then we've got monster energy drinks. Adult beverages. Now these are a straight up knockoff of what I used to get in Japan. And the can design looks the same. They've got all these different fruit flavors and this is the Chinese knockoff. It's a brand called Rio. And these are pretty strong. 8%. It's like twice as strong as beer. Super sweet. And they'll, you know, they'll get you feeling good. But um, who knows what's in it, you know? I used to drink these quite a bit. But these days, I don't drink much alcohol. And like I said, sometimes when I drink these, you just don't know what's in it. You just feel like it's like damaging your body. Let's take a look at this beer selection, shall we? Got our Qingdao, Heineken, Budweiser, but no Bud Light. <laughs> PBR, that's uh, going pretty strong here in China, PBR. Heineken, Carlsberg, these are popular. These are all relatively common. Corona is starting to catch on in China. Goose Island IPA. I was looking over here at the top shelf stuff and the most expensive one I found was this Wuliangye Baijiu. This is three thousand, about three thousand for two bottles. That's nearly five hundred dollars, guys. My bad, guys. Here's the Motai Maltai Baijiu. One bottle right here for freaking four thousand seven hundred thirty-eight. I'll put on the screen how much that would be in US dollars. That is absolutely insane. <laughs> hundreds and hundreds of dollars for that one bottle. Over here, you've got some rum, Hennessy. Jim Beam, Jack Daniels, Jaeger. A lot of imported liquor here. Uh, here we are in the frozen goods section. And of course in China, you wouldn't be surprised, you're gonna see a lot of frozen dumplings. No surprise there. And I do buy frozen dumplings sometimes just because sometimes you're in a hurry and you need something tasty to eat. And there you go. Well, they got frozen pizzas here, but from the looks of them, they don't look like what you would typically think of a pizza. It's all kind of odd toppings and stuff. Now if you need some bacon, you can get some decent bacon. It's Smithfield. This is relatively common in China. A lot of your larger supermarkets will have it. You can get this. You can get some decent uh, ham. So bacon and ham, yeah, look for Smithfield. I'll tell you for me, the, the hardest part is the, the cheese issue. The cheese options in China are pretty bad i mean you've got some very mediocre mozzarella cheese here and then this like processed american cheese fake cheese stuff and that's pretty much it like i would love to get some shredded like mexican blend or shredded cheddar but they just don't have it anything so that's unfortunate because uh you know i love my cheese but here in china you're not gonna have much luck with getting uh, getting good cheese you can get it on the internet, I will say that. And if you're in like Shanghai or Beijing or something, I'm sure there are places with cheese, but I'm in a capital city right now in a Walmart. And the only cheese they have that's decent is the shredded mozzarella. 
We're getting into some prepared foods, and here you go right here. You can see this. Beijing Kaoya. There you go. Beijing roast duck. You won't find that in a Walmart in the U.S. Frozen seafood. Look at that. Whole fish frozen. And then a bunch of this stuff is for hot pot, like these little fish balls and these weird looking little things. They've got filling. There is one type of these. It looks similar to this, but it has a cheese filling. Those are actually pretty good in a hot pot. And then meatballs and stuff. If you've never had hot pot, you've got to try it. It's awesome. I'll put a picture here on the screen. Now this is honestly what I thought we'd see more of here in Walmart. But this is surprisingly small. Usually they've got a huge... Well, a lot of supermarkets in China, in China will have a huge fresh seafood section with all different types of fish and other critters, sea creatures that you can buy fresh. They kill it there, you take it home and cook it fresh. I want to see the worst pizza ever. Look at this. Ugh. So when people here in China tell me that they do or don't like pizza, I, I have to take their opinion with a grain of salt because that ain't pizza. But these are pretty good. These are called manto. These are steamed buns usually in china you'll have rice with your meal but sometimes you have these and i quite like these to be honest peanuts are a really popular snack in china and they've got peanuts with spicy peppers like these for example this is one type these are like the numbing spicy sichuan kind of taste and i'll tell you these are pretty good these are a good snack you've got all different types of lays in a can flavors that you generally never had here we go uh, dried seaweed flavor um, these I've never had these these actually look pretty good and we've got a sizzled barbecue I've had those tomato flavor Ugh, yuck and cucumber flavor no thanks and more lays of all flavors Doritos but don't let the Doritos fool you they are not good they're usually sweet I would not buy Doritos here. Roasted cumin lamb skewer flavor. Roasted garlic oyster flavor. Italian red meat flavor. And now this is pretty interesting. This is the, you know, higher quality imported chocolate section. I actually have this at home. And the bread section in China is another area where you might kind of struggle because, I mean, it, look, here you go, white. Plain white sandwich bread, wheat bread, more of that. And then over here, I mean, I'm at Walmart in Shenyang, so most places will not have this. They've got a few other choices. Like, I mean, this looks multi-grain. This actually looks pretty good. Most places will not have that. You're gonna be able to get white sandwich bread or wheat sandwich bread, and that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go with the salted duck eggs. These are extremely popular in China. I, I'm not a fan of these. And one thing you'll notice is the selection of produce in China is actually significantly smaller than it is, at least in the U.S. Like, our fruit and veggie selection is so much more, like, varied than it is here. Here, you'll, you'll generally find the same stuff everywhere, you know? You've got your basic fruits and basic veggies, and... Now, it'll vary some, depending on which part of China you're in. But, you know, if you come to the supermarket looking for, like, kale or certain organic things you're going to be hard pressed to find what you're looking for you've kind of got a set selection in china and like these things that you're seeing right here just in passing you'll find these everywhere these are the basics this is basically what you've got to work with and you can make a lot of things out of this don't get me wrong but there is somewhat of a limited selection and for, i mean for me my favorite leafy green vegetable is kale i love kale and I just can't get it here in China. And we're just heading out, back out onto the streets. And you know what? I think I'm gonna add a little bonus footage to this video, because I'm a little bit hungry. So we're gonna go find something to eat together. I have no idea what I'm gonna get. Well, just across the street, the shopping continues because they've got all these little stalls set up. I'm back on another pedestrian street. But this time, it's not the main one. It's not Zhongjie, that's the main one. They call it like Central Avenue or Central Street. That's the main one in Shenyang. I, I'm, I'm apparently on Taiyuan Road. Just to keep things simple, I'm gonna go get some dumplings. I know this place is good. And actually, you can see right here, it says on the side, 
nationwide, they've got 700 locations. So you can see them making the dumplings over here. You, you wait. Now usually, I just get these dumplings over here, the uh, celery and fresh meat, pork and celery, basically. But they now have some new selections. They've got these little mini pots. So I decided to go ahead and get this one with the uh, tofu and spicy meatballs. Now one interesting thing here is after I ordered my food, they poured me this cup of water or soup, or you may be, may be wondering what it is. No, this is, they pour it for you to drink. And you can see it's kind of cloudy looking. But what this is, this is the water from the pot where they make the dumplings. So it's got sort of that, imagine if you, you know, made some fresh noodles in a pot of boiling water, and then instead of just pouring that water out, you used it, you, you drank it. That's basically what this is. Well, the food just came out. You can see it's, there's some flames underneath, and uh, here we've got the spicy meatballs, and dried tofu, and then some veggies. And you just let it heat up, kind of start bubbling, and some rice. Now this whole meal right here cost me less than $3 US. Yeah, I mean, you can't really beat it. That's pretty damn good. Of course, we have to see how it tastes, but I'm pretty confident it will taste good. Oh, there we go. Now we're starting to heat up. There we go. That's what I like to see. Mm -hmm. Well, I tasted it. It's definitely got more of a kick to it than I thought. And it's pretty spicy, but it tastes fantastic. Yeah. Really, really good. Better than I thought. Well, unfortunately, that's going to wrap things up for this video. And uh, I want to thank you all for tuning in. Make sure to drop me a comment in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed the video, I would appreciate it if you'd give it a thumbs up. And before you go, guys, make sure to subscribe to the channel, okay? I have a lot more content coming your way. I've already got some content recorded. Various cities, various travels. And while you're at it, after you subscribe, you might as well click on that notification bell. That way, when a new video comes out, you will be notified. Any support that you can show the channel is truly appreciated. I've got a lot of great things in store for you guys. And until next time, hope you're doing well. Take care of yourselves. We'll catch you in the next video. Shots of Taijian.